this is Donna Crowley. I'm here at the Belvedere Place. You can see we always have something interesting to look at. Belvedere Place is about the arts, wellness, and community. Um, it's just fun stop by. We're here in Wynn, Michigan. This is where I have my office. So if you want to have a groovy glaze party um, or fundraiser, you can use this facility um, to do it in. Otherwise, I can go to the churches, to the living rooms, here and there wherever you need to have um, a party for pottery. So, but I, I just love being here. There's always something fun and interesting to look forward to. We just finished up a week long sale of vintage clothing, um, retro and vintage clothing, um, as well as an art sale. Um, didn't get as many takers for the art this time. So I still have quite a bit of pottery if anyone's interested. But seriously, this is just, I love to be here. Um, our next big event at the Belvedere Place is called Fiery Days in Wynn, Michigan. It's to help support uh, the fire department. And it's just gonna be fun. There's gonna be carnivals, um, all kinds of yard sales, and indoor uh, vendors, uh, booths and such. Hippie Pots is going to be there. You can come and find out more about what this hippie does. I'll be wearing the wig. Unless it's 104 degrees and then I might consider shaving my head and being a different kind of hippie. Well, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, that's August 11 and 12. Um, I believe that's a Friday and a Saturday. And um, you can look on their Facebook page. It's called 2017 Win Fiery Days. So you can find out more if you're local. I'd love to see you. Come stop by my booth. But this video is because I have a website now. Um, I haven't officially announced it on Facebook yet because it's not mobile device ready. And I really don't want to hear about everybody saying, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So, but it has a blog attached to it. So I'm going to do something I'll write something and have some photographs and then I'll do a video and then write something and do a photograph kind of keeping it so that some people love to read a lot and some people would rather just watch a video let's just be honest there's all kinds of people and I like to do both write and do the videos so you're gonna get both from me at um, my new uh, blog called off the top of your heart there's also a Facebook page uh, excuse me a Facebook group you can join and I talk about different things there I, I talk about whatever I want whatever's on my heart that's why it's called off the top of my heart so anyway I promised in my first blog that I would discuss just a little bit about how I got relaunched after 30 years of uh, not doing my art not doing my pottery um, I went to CMU as a music major. Ta-da! I've discussed in another video that's on Facebook about my first job was I was a paid soprano at St. John's Episcopal in Mount Pleasant. So anyone that knows that historic building knows that I'm attached to that place and um, it was a great first job as a freshman at CMU. So, but anyway, I was a music major, a vocal music major. I was a soprano. Anyway, I do. I love to sing. I still love to sing. Um, just anything to do with the arts and music, I've always felt very attached to. So, but how did I get relaunched back into my art? Oh, it's a beautiful story. 30 years in between. My first career was a homeschooling mother, and I loved it. I loved the fact that I could use my brain every day and creativity every day. Because I had two different children that had two different needs that I could approach daily and see to the fact that I was giving them a good start in life and I was able to fulfill some of my creative energy in a direction that was very healthy and positive. So for 20 plus years I've been a homeschooling mom and I knew about five years ago, well, you know what, they're going to graduate, they're not going to need you in the same capacity that they have been for the past 15. So I started thinking, I'm like, okay, 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 okay. What would I love to do with the rest of my life? Not necessarily at that time thinking about making money doing it, but I decided to write a book. I struggled very silently, a very silent struggle with um, clinical depression and a severe anxiety disorder. It got pretty bad at some points. 
I wouldn't leave the house without my husband. Um, that, you know, that's pretty serious. And I didn't feel at the time that I could allow myself to go on medications or to have therapies. And that was sad for me if you think about it, but at the same time it taught me a lot. And so when I did finally get down to the root of what was causing such um, a dramatic, severe um, reaction in my mental health, that I was able to let that go. And after a couple of years of being free from the clinical depression and still dealing with anxiety but on a much healthier level, I decided I'd write a book. <laughs> so that's what I did. I wrote a book. Well, it started off as a blog, just like the blog that you're at now. Um, it was called Hedged In By God's Grace and at first it was just a blog and I used it um, as a platform for teaching other women or men if they were interested in healthy boundaries. And um, you can go to that blog, it's still available. There's about four, maybe not quite five years of writing there at the Hedged In By God's Grace blog spot. You know, you can find it, you can Google, go for it, have some fun. Um, so it started off and my publisher saw it when I posted it on Facebook and he says, hey, I really like, he said my voice, he really liked what I was saying. He wanted to publish it and when I was ready, I did. So in 2010, I published my book, Hedged On By God's Grace and you know what? That's how, it's, how it started, how I relaunched myself in a different career. So I was a writer and a speaker but I felt like something wasn't quite what I wanted. And so it took a couple of years after being trained at Waypoint as a life talk consultant that I decided how could I put all of the pieces of me into one amazing package and then eventually artist me. So really I'm an author, a speaker, and I'm an artist, but I'm also a businesswoman. So how, you know, how was I going to put all those three together? So that's the fun part of, you know, discovering what it is you think that you have to offer life and life has to offer you. And so for about three years now, my motto has been living loved and loving life and really just discovering what is it inside of Donna Crowley that wants to come out, wants to have fun, and would benefit the world. I mean, seriously, isn't that a gift from God to just really enjoy how he made us? To really get excited about waking up in the morning and what is today's creativity going to flow and look like? Yes, really. That's an artist's heart, though, right there. It's it's fun to be me and like I promised I was going to do um, videos along with the written blogs so you guys have some choices. You can watch both. You can share. Uh, I mean whatever your heart desires. Just have some fun with me and I'll talk to you another time. Bye!